Welcome back everyone, this is Goku Sen DBZ, and welcome back to Video Game News for April the 10th. So, with that said, first up off the top, outside of gaming news, it was announced a couple days ago that Will Smith would be banned for a period of 10 years from the Oscars after the incident with him and Kid Rock. But if you're interested in that, there's more than plan shells that talk thoroughly on the topic, but that's it for that. Next up, according to some new sales numbers estimated, between physical and digital sales, it is now estimated that Elden Ring is closing in on 15 million copies sold. Quite an impressive feat, needless to say, is by far the best, most successful game ever. Or from software. Now, one thing I want to see about from software is the fact they've made many great games, excluding even the Soul series. I mean, technically speaking, if you want to get down to it, really the entire universe and stuff all really started fantasy wise with a little game called Kingsfield. Now, technically, even though it's called just Kingsfield, it's actually technically Kingsfield 2, but whatever, back in this era, numbering and stuff was sometimes screwed up. Case in point, early Final Fantasy games. But with that said, I am happy to see, honestly, the success and everything for Elden Ring. Pause just to show I indeed went out and show my support for the game by picking it up myself, physical, for PS4. Eventually, I want to get around to it, but first I have to finish up my playthrough of Final Fantasy Origin, Stranger of Paradise. And there's other things to work on the side, because I want to get that stuff cleared out way because of knowing how many hours this game will soak up. But with that said, also recently announced uh, some major big DLC stuff being added to the MMO game Genshin Impact. A new, like, special quest, as well as a new boss, a serpent giant snake creature. So, definitely some things to look forward to if you at all play Genshin Impact. Also, Tomb Raider Rider wants less basically father issues involving Laura in the next game. Also, so a few just current deals going on with a new PSN sale. Uh, just a few things. Uh, first up, technically you can play on both PS4 and PS5. Bloodborne for $10. Also, you have Demon Souls or Demon's Souls remake for $40. God of War for $10. The Neo Collection for $40. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for $50. Returnal $50. Sackboy A Big Adventure base game. $30, and then the one including Season Pass and all the extra DLC, $60. Also, recently announced uh, Metroid Dread adds three new boss rush modes in f with the free update. Also, Hello Neighbor 2 gets the Cyber release date, according to most recent stuff. Also, New Grand Turismo 7, which of course has been somewhat of a flop so far among fans. Um, but update begins to fix credits and many imbalance and many other issues with the game. Also, huge announcement. Crystal Dynamics announces a new Tomb Raider game. We'll be using the Unreal Engine 5. Also, some recent numbers and stuff of some new release games from Mad Creek. First up, a bit more family-friendly horror game 
in Nightmare. PS4 version, no info. PS5 version has a 52% critic score, no audience score. Also, you have the Chrono Cross remaster with also a special novel included in it. Uh, basic info. PS4 version has a 76% Craig score, a audience score though of 4.6, not great. No info on Xbox One, no info on PC. The Switch has an 80% Craig score and has a user score of a 9.5. That's quite impressive and quite a difference between user scores between both platforms. Fun fact, I picked up the digital version of the Chrono Cross Remaster for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're at all curious about it, it's only $19.99, very affordable, and I do highly recommend checking out this sort of sequel to the original. Then again, this is one of my personal favorite games of all time on the PS1, so I'm also planning on looking into possibly ordering through PlayAsia the physical version of the game as well, which I believe is running like $40 to twice the price of the digital. Also... We have info on the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga Collection. The Switch version has a 79% crank and an 8.3 user. Very positive. PC 77% crank, 7.4 user. PS4, no credit score, has an 8.1 user, which is very good news. PS5 has an 83% crick and an 8.8 .8 user. Very good on both sides. Xbox One has a 78% crick and an 8.3 user. Series X has an 81% crick and a 9.1 user. So needless to say, the Skywalk Lego si the Skywalker Saga is getting very positive overall response. Last but not least, I wanted to mention, of course, the digital release of uh, House of the Dead Remake has a 57% crank and a 7.2 user. And in the place of having light guns like the original classic games, which I remember playing on the... Specifically, I remember playing the second game on the Sega Dreamcast back many years ago. As well as, um, I remember my friend having the Typing of the Dead version of the game, which include a special Dreamcast keyboard, which is awesome today. The keyboards run for a pretty penny if you're at all interested in the game. But with that said, that's it for this edition of Game News. But yeah, I'm actually curious. I actually have it off to side right here. My Switch. And specifically, I have right here. Just downloaded last night, the Chrono Cross and... Right there, just finished downloading this morning, actually about half an hour ago, the House of the Dead remake, digital. So yeah, I'm curious to try it out. I'm curious to see how it's going to play with the Joy-Cons versus playing with, of course, the standard version. So it is going to be quite curious on trying it out. And I will give my own thoughts and impressions in the game. Now, right now, if you're at all curious about the... Uh, House of the Dead remake, normally it's $24.99 for the digital. Right now, you can get it $5 off digitally. So, basically $20. So, it's only $20 for the Chrono Cross, and it's $20 for the House of the Dead. I recommend taking advantage of the House of the Dead right now. Get it while it's 5 bucks off. More than worth $20, but I'm looking forward to trying and see how the gameplay works with the Joy-Cons versus using the original Leica. But speaking as a longtime fan of House of the Dead and remembering back in the late 90s playing House of the Dead 1 in actual arcade, it's just nice again to see a game like this actually making a return. Graphically, I don't care if it's not super impressive graphics. I mean, the base on price is 25 bucks for now, 20 bucks. And I'm not a graphic snob, so. Speaking as someone who grew up in the 16-bit era and 32-bit era. So with that said, I will give my honest impressions and opinions 
in the hopefully in the next week I can do a impression slash bit of a review on the House of the Dead remake and I'll give my honest opinion on it. But I'll see y'all next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. Also, I'm play on doing a Stranger of Paradise review. I have put in probably about 65% of the way through the story of the game. So I'm two-thirds of the way done because I took a break last week just so I don't get burnt out in the game. Which is something I expect to be doing a lot also with Elden Ring. But with that said, I'll see y'all soon enough. Stay safe out there. And also stay safe to those right now involved in the conflict right now in the Ukraine. Our prayers and thoughts are with you. Stay safe. See y'all next time.